Hey guys, welcome to Season 7, Episode 4 of Bones. Here we go. Pricey stuff. The auction bin. Cheap items for the garbage. The ones in between. Sometimes disappear. Isn't that stealing? It's repurposing. See, I can pass it up to you. Which one's gonna have the dead body? That old food? That's an animal. Welcome to the U.S. Postal Service, kid. to raise a child. Very little crime. Crime. I thrive off crime. That's my job. But well, with your restrictions, Boots, you make it very difficult to find something in the D.C. area. Okay, what about Maryland? Uh, Maryland's a great place. Hey, the Bureau just confiscated this set. Hey, shrimp. Hey, Pops. Come on, let's see, huh? Why? Oh, you look just beautiful. I, I don't want to talk here. Why? No, no, no. Okay. It's your dad. Oh. Oh. He died Monday at the V.A. Great. All right, we're out of the way. Just text me the address. Okay, let's go. We've got case. Oh, he's hiding it. I know how you felt. Then you shouldn't be surprised how I reacted, huh? You got the key to my place. Make yourself home. No, you're you're, cheese, you're, you're hiding it. I know what happened, but you're still he's still your dad. Is she actually pregnant? Uh, for some reason, she actually looks pregnant. Like not like a TV show pregnant. Like, she actually looked like, you know, some people act when they're pregnant. And then some people you can tell are not actually pregnant because they're, they have the fake. It's just a different, it, I don't know, it's like a, it's hard to explain. It's like a, that you look different. I agree. If it's fake compared to actually pregnant, which is why I feel confident saying it. Is something wrong? Nope. His dad died. Oh my god. Really? Why would you say that? What? I was just trying to be supported by adopting a matter-of-fact demeanor like you. I really gotta finish these things, but I keep watching Bones. They're so good. The body liquids combined with the packing material will transform the tissue into an adiposterous gel. I need to separate these bones before there's any more chemical damage to them. I've got just what you need, Clark. This little puppy is a plysomer laser. Now. Who wants to hear it bark? Aren't those used Wolf. for eye surgery? Yeah, gotta be an eye in here somewhere, right? Can't we just cut the box open? We already signed this out. <laughs> and it's much cooler. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, hey, I'm the boss. <laughs> He's like, damn it. What's this? Adam Evidence Response Team run the shipping information from the packages. She's back! I liked her! I figured. I just didn't think she'd ever go back. <laughs> Maybe we can find out these labels were created. I'm gonna call. I actually sent them over to Miss Montenegro at the Jeffersonian. <laughs> Figured that's what you would do. You know, Shaw, I am not authorized to give you a raise. You're the best agent in the department, sir. I just really wanted the opportunity to work with you. And if I can help during this time of your loss. Oh. The gold standard in shipping. So professionally packed and shipped, but never intended to reach a destination. That's a great way to get rid of a body. Uh huh. That's a really good one. You got an anomaly, Dr. Edison? But we'll figure something out. And where was it? Huh? Oh, uh, it was on the um, second metacarpal <laughs> on the left hand. Have you determined the weapon that... that what are you uh, doing? Dr. Edison, is there a problem? You're staring at a breast. Oh! Oh, no, no, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Dr. Uh, uh, but you were, um... <clears throat> look, there was a whole lot of activity going on there, and I was just thinking... You know, maybe I can help you out. Not meaning like that. Yes, I've never. Tender and swollen breasts are common for trimester. Oh. It's very uncomfortable. My bra size has increased by two cup sizes. I had noticed. Well, it's quite obvious. You should be more observant, Dr. Anderson. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, I see now. You're much larger. <clears throat> Can I just uh, focus on these remains? Yes. I need a weapon and who needs an ID, so run a search using the victim's dental entries. You can enter whatever shipping and return address. She is so freaking tiny. Entries, Mrs. Shipper. 
I honestly don't remember her name because I didn't expect she would be back. Body was shipped from the ship in print. What well, Maryland. I can't believe I'm getting to work with you people. Yeah. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. I have a six-month-old at home. So that's doing all of this on no sleep. Mm -hmm. Agent Shaw. Oh, Agent Shaw. I love it when I ask questions and I get answers immediately. Really? You really want to help? I got a great idea. We'll, we'll see we'll talk about something else. Talk about you. My breasts are very sore. Would you mind if I spent the evening naked? Sure. Yeah, it's best. <laughs> Fine with me. No complaints here. That's great. See? Now isn't this a better conversation? <laughs> Oliver Lawrence. He worked there for five years. He was reported missing last May. Damn. Rattle weapons. Modern ones. <coughs> so it is time to get medieval. Huh? This is ridiculous, Dodges. Do you think our killer used a thousand year old battle axe? Hey. Good scientist never assumes. You never know, honestly. Like the honors. Right. If you insist. Nope. What else do you have? <laughs> Scimitar. Oh yeah, that'll do. Shipping prints. Good morning. Welcome to the shipping print. How may I help you with your copying and shipping needs? <laughs> well, the okay. Uh, FBI. It's carved from a thigh bone of a thousand-year-old holy man. Based on the rough edges and the lack of discoloration, that bone is not more than 20 years old. Right in. <laughs> what? <laughs> you figured out what dismembered the body. A guillotine. No a way. Guillotine? Oh, wait a second. What? Guillotine. Oh, yep. You think he sliced up on my paper cutter? The imperfections on the blade appear to be consistent with striations on the victim's bones. I'm feeling a little sick. Oh, join the club. Uh, the crew I had back when Oliver was here, they were tight. Wait, what do you mean back when? Did you ever New crews. Everybody's new, except for Tony up front. What Why? Happened? Oh, jackpot winners. Huh? You Six won the million dollars? Four of us to get together. Fifteen million each? Yeah, and then the other three called it rich. They thought it was nuts. I love this place. It gives me a purpose. That sounds like uh, me. If I won the freaking lottery, I'd still be doing this. What about Oliver and Tony? <laughs> Why did you include them in the lottery? Well, I know they were lying. Uh, I examined the numbers that they played. I found Oliver's birthday, his childhood street address, and his high school basketball number. She is so good. The likeliest scenario is one person killed Oliver. The others found out and traded silence for shares in the win. Ooh. That works for me. Whoa, wait, that wait, works wait, for me too. too. We don't confront them. We ask for their help. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was able to do a preliminary talk screen on the victim. What are you doing? Shaw had some of the FBI techs bring over this copy machine. You need the whole machine to do that? Shaw didn't want Booth to think that she overlooked anything. <clears throat> Can't imagine losing my dad. Lord, some other show said something yeah, about... I forgot what he's who. going oh. through. It's not your fault. I don't know how to exist without my dad. But you God, that line killed me. Hodgins. Booth could help me. 387 packages were shipped on the day he went missing. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, Sheila Burnside has certainly grown since the lottery fund was taken. Whoa, that's her? I just want to help. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, perhaps you can help us find his killer. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, they're so hard. Like I remember him. Don't you? Oh, yeah. She's yeah. in charge. Uh, you know what? I do. He was a real troublemaker. He uh, he stole a box of yellow highlighters once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, you're kidding. Connor, I do. Me too, definitely. He screamed at me once, right, Hugh? Maybe you have a reason to protect him, Connor. You all had it out for me because I stayed. You have to admit, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of money. <laughs> just stayed. Excuse us for a moment. We just need to... Uh, run that suspect back through our system. Yeah, that's so obvious. She's in control. Yeah. Sheila knew that Finger and one of those mugshots would have taken the heat well off of her. Yeah, her husband's clearly the submissive one. He's the one who cracked. Yeah. He could have gotten in to uh, kill all of her. Who printed the labels? Ralph Birdie. Ooh. The five of us 
bought the ticket together. We were saving his share until he came back. We didn't kill him for it. Amazing how these four are always changing their story. Yeah, all the honestly. Time. That is the truth, I swear. If they Everybody killed him, they killed him for $3 million. Before. It doesn't get easier than that, right? Because that's all everyone else gained. The printer memory. They already had $12 million. <laughs> Wasn't enough. I need 15 So there was a struggle before he was killed. Struck multiple times on the right side with something that approximates a tiny saw. Oh. Good work, Dr. Essen. But I have no answers. <laughs> I wouldn't hire a fool. I suppose that's true. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> and I'm glad to see that your breasts seem to be feeling better. I beg your pardon? I'll just study the curve marks. I'm burning the garlic. See you later. Look, you were my father. Uh, he was never there for me. I was just trying to remind you that he was my son. Good or bad, he was my son. And I've got to tell you, I'm a little disappointed that you don't seem to see the hurt I'm feeling. I raised him. Don't you feel responsible for your boy? Now, Sidney, we're family. We're trying to get through this together. So you can separate the liquids from the tissue sticking to the packing peanut. There's something in here. Looks like a piece of tape. Yeah. No, it's embedded in the muscle. It was here when he died. How did it get there? Tape? In his muscle? Well, Ralph's story checks out. 96% of the jobs on the printer were what? done using Ralph's code. Why would someone photocopy their buttocks? Well, I guess they were doing some kinky calisthenics on the job. We just have to figure out whose tush this is. 24.3 centimeters. I feel like this is gonna... Narrow hips. Only about 5% of women have hips that narrow. Oh. There was only one woman among the lottery winners. So Sheila lures him to the copier, kills him, and then takes his share of the money so she can get a new pair of boobs. Three million dollar... Three million dollar boobs? <laughs> oh. What the hell is she doing? Oh, the seat cushion is made from compression foam. It's engineered to capture orthotic modeling. I'm using it to measure your client's ischial tuberosity. Oliver's hands on your butt two days before he was murdered. So, it seems like we might have something to talk about after all. Okay, that doesn't... <laughs> Do not talk. Not one word. We did it a few times, <laughs> but it didn't mean anything. You didn't want him to find God. out, so you killed him. I'm a slut, not a killer. Shut up. He was <laughs> all about it. She wouldn't kill anyone. I hate my job. <laughs> Honestly, freaking lawyers are like... <laughs> the number one rule is you shut up. Oh. Call the weapons that it's like <laughs> saws, cooking for this. Not your day for weapons identification, huh? Why, oh, thank you. Hadn't crossed my mind. So I assume you found something wonderfully relevant. You found a cause of death. Yep. Whatever what? the weapon was, maybe the handle on the weapon was loose and they tried to tape it up? Maybe. What is that? I think I found our weapon. You can stay as long as you want. Well, you see, tonight's movie night, and I have this little lady friend that likes it when the lights go out. You understand? I think so, Bob. But before I go, just shut up and listen. I didn't write a letter to see him because I knew he'd rip up anything I sent him. And he should. He and Jared deserved a better father than me. A father as good as I had. Thank you for raising him to be the man I could never be. Damn. Open it or don't open it. They told me to give it to me. Life is just a lot of loose ends. So smile. Love that woman you have. And love that new little girl that you're gonna have. Right, Pops. Yes. Oh, careful now. <laughs>
Now, these are the three models that Eight the shipping gun. machine uses. So who's our lefty? Wow. No comment. No comment. Okay. All right. Okay. So your lawyer represents your wife Sheila too. So is your lawyer working for you or for her? For both of them. That's a conflict of interest. Is it? Right. So <laughs> can he show you this photocopy? You seem real mad about that. Oh, one last thing there. Oh. Hey, nice catch there, Lefty. That necessarily says he's a lefty. I think he is the lefty, but I don't. Because if someone threw something to me on my left side, I wouldn't go all the way over. Let me go through my notes one more time. There's gotta be something. This is not the way it works. We don't have enough evidence here. You thinking that the only way I'm gonna respect you is if you hand me this final piece of the puzzle? It's not teamwork. It's ego, right? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back and get Burnside to sign these documents. Any luck with packing material? Might need Clark for this one. It's bone. That is bone. This piece of bone doesn't fit anywhere. Let me take a look. Can we sew so it someone else's? Did you know that cabbage leaves are recommended to soothe sore breasts? Apparently, the phytochemicals in the plant. Uh, I spent the evening naked, so my breasts are actually feeling much better today. Thank you. I just assumed it was from our victim, which was clearly a mistake. <laughs> it came from a Buddhist necklace made from human bone. No way. Oh, he did it. Why? Any idea why all the phony return answers got printed when you worked the graveyard shift? Their packages contain psilocybin. You know, magic mushrooms, right? Your dealer. You were selling drugs and you were shipping them at night. Oh. That doesn't mean that I killed anyone. This is a chip of bone from your pendant. It was in the box that contained Oliver's head. The box also contained psilocybin spores. Bunch of mushrooms. Oliver got all drugs are bad, okay? So we took the package. He said he was gonna call the police. I'm all about nonviolence. You beat him with a tape gun. You sliced his neck and you killed him. And then you cut him into pieces. I've been nonviolent for over 25 years. I, I lost it for five minutes. I'd say overall that's that's really not that bad in the scheme of things, right? Right? <laughs> the kids in the box. Just... Do you miss your father, please? This is awkward. Why? It's been gone for 20 years. No. I might say the wrong thing, but for the time being, we're sharing our lives. And that means you can't shut me out, Booth. What's the point? Oh, seriously? That's... Bones. Quantum physicists have postulated that the way we experience time is an illusion. That it doesn't happen in a linear way, that past and present in reality, there's no difference. Well, what are you trying to get at? You do have some good memories of your father. The time when the river froze, he woke you up at midnight to go skating. And the time you were sweeping up at his barber shop when he put on Louis Prima and pretended the electric razor was a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> and the World Series. The World Series. You one perfect day together. Those good times with your dad are happening right now. They'll always be happening.
Look at that. That was a good moment. I mean, I... When it comes to dads, you share special moments. With with that, sports. I got sports too. Um, I am very thankful to have watched many successful moments of sports with my dad. Um, the Braves won the World Series. I mean, I didn't watch the, the World Series win with him, but sharing that, because we're both big Braves fans, we're both big Georgia Bulldog fans, um, sharing that national back-to-back -back national champions um, means everything. I mean, even watching just regular games and um, you know your team goes crazy and we're both over there like ah um, it's like they're important and big moments and yeah that was a nice little kind of connection there great episode um, like video comment down below subscribe if you have not already I will see y'all next time.